Joining us now is General Robert Abrams, who most recently served as the commander of U.S. forces in Korea and was senior military assistant to the U.S. Defense Secretary when Russia last invaded Ukraine. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, General. Uh, President Biden has put 8,500 troops on heightened alert to be potentially sent into the region. How would so few troops, even as part of a larger NATO force, really make a difference when Russia has more than 100,000 soldiers just across the border? First, th thanks for having me on tonight. Um, I, I think we need to understand uh, what our true capabilities are. And uh, those 8,500 and part of a larger NATO response force capability uh, will have tremendous effect um, in really two areas. The first area is sending a message of clear reassurance to our NATO allies, specifically the ones uh, on the eastern flank of NATO, the Baltics, Romania, Bulgaria, and those countries in the east. I think the other message, uh, albeit a little bit you know, smaller force than what the Russians have reportedly deployed, sends a clear message of resolve to the Russian president that we mean business and that NATO's resolve is strong. So it'll have a huge effect, an oversized effect on decision-making calculus by the Russians. As you well know, Russia has considerable cyber capabilities. A number of major cyber attacks in recent years are believed to have originated there. And just this week, the Department of Homeland Security warned Russia could cripple U.S. infrastructure. So with such a big risk hanging over Americans' heads, is there increased risk with the U.S. becoming further involved here? Lindsay, I think we, we first have to understand that uh, typical American citizens, all of us, we, we live with this risk every single day. In, you know, in the 21st century. So there's not much changed. Um, that report and alert that came from the Department of Homeland Security, that, that's an extant capability that the Russians have. And so there, there's always risk. I think the other way that we should look at it, though, is, is if Russia or some other malign actor chose to take such an action as to attempt to cripple our infrastructure, that would be a huge gamble. And uh, a lot would be lost. They would become the pariah of the world for taking such an extraordinary action. So I, I think that this is a risk that we live with every single day, and it's a manageable risk. We've got tremendous capability, defensive capability, and offensive capability, and we should keep that in mind. Well, you say it's a risk that we live with any, every day, but I'm curious if you, if you poke the bear, so to speak, does that risk increase? Well, I, I think we have to understand what, what constitutes poking the bear. And, um, you know, certainly in their rhetoric, I haven't seen anything from the Russians that have told us to stay out. They've simply made demands on, on what they expect um, NATO to agree to and the United States specifically to agree to. Um, but we, we have faced this in plenty of other places as well. And uh, we have, you know, as long as I served, um, we've never been paralyzed as a country and risk averse uh, because of some potential thing that could happen. I think we have to take this from, again, if the Russians or someone else chose such a course of action, it's a huge gamble, and they have the most to lose. How could the United States counteract Russian cyber attacks? Does the conflict risk spiraling out of control in the cybersphere? That, that, look, this is a this is a great question and one that we wrestle with. The military and uh, our you know elected leaders wrestle with. Um, first, let me be really clear about our capabilities in U.S. Cyber Command. They are top notch, best in breed, best in the world. We have tremendous capability, and we have used it. Um, extensively, certainly um, in the last 20 years, it's gotten better and better. We have tremendous capability, and the American people should feel very confident with that capability. Um, the, the question about spiraling out of control, this, this is unfortunately one of those things, because there's not a lot of, you know, UN or some other governing body uh, that sort of governs that cyberspace. It's sometimes been described as the Wild West, right? So it's ungoverned spaces. And so um, that there, there is some potential risk, uh, but I think that we have demonstrated over the last few years, because we've used our capability both defensively and offensively, um, that we know how to manage it appropriately. 
Well, we certainly appreciate you sharing your knowledge with us on this matter. General Robert Abrams, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Lindsay. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.